Hi guys, this is Abhishek and welcome to my channel Data and Tools where I share click view related tutorials. And before I go ahead with the topic for today, just a small information for you that if you are also looking forward to learn R programming, then you can visit my channel R Video Tutorials where I share the programming videos related to R. And apart from this, if you want to get the click view related videos directly in your inbox you can always subscribe to my channel and get notification directly in your inbox all right let's go ahead and start with the topic for today and the today's topic is about uh, how we can create the subroutines within the click view and it's about creating a function where you are passing the parameters based on the calculation that you want to do multiple times so instead of uh, specifying the calculation in each and every load statement or multiple times within the script you can just specify the location or the function uh, at one single location and keep calling that function so we will go through it and learn about how it will be meaningful for us so let me go ahead and come to this my click view document so this is a sample click view document which i have been using from past so many examples so let me go back and show you the script which i have written for you so here is a small script or the subroutine that i have written for you it start with sub and the name of the subroutine and then whatever expression or whatever click view related uh, statements that we want to pass even we can pass the entire load statement if there is a requirement that we want uh, to load the table again and again by calling the function even you can do that apart from if you want to specify a calculation like this which is a very simple calculation what we are doing is we are just passing a value with the help of the variable that we declared here and multiplying it by 2 so for the sake of simplicity from the perspective of understanding we have taken the very simple example that uh, just uh, whatever value we are passing multiply it by 2 and store it into the final value so that we can use it in the front end so generally it happens that uh, from your table you want to get any value into a variable and pass it on to the function because you want to do some calculations again and again so if that is the case you can actually utilize the subroutines so the basic idea behind uh, using the subroutines is that you have a calculation or you have some requirements which needs to be repeated over certain parameters or over certain values then you can use the subroutines to do that particular thing or to do that particular uh, scenario with the with the help of subroutines all right so let's see this so we have specified the value is equals to zero over here and within the subroutine we are specifying the final value with uh, this calculation that whatever value we are passing is multiplied by two and then finally and the subroutine that means that's where we want to add and down there we are doing nothing but we are specifying values equals to four so this is the this is the variable we have specified here initially it was zero then after the load statement we have specified the value is equals to four and then we have called the user calc which is a subroutine so user calc is here if i show you the subroutine which name whose name uh, which name is uh, user calc and then uh, we are specifying or we are giving this value or the variable value as 4 which is coming here and then finally storing it into the final value all right let's save and reload the value the script and uh, let's wait for it to close it out all right and then let's go to the variable overview window it's in setting and variable overview and as you can see the value for the value variable is 4 and value for final value variable is 8 because 4 has been multiplied by 8 so this is a very simple example but you can make it as complex as you want you what even what you can do is you can store not only the static value but maybe let's say a uh, number of cases or value of extortion greed money based on the numeric value that you have 
you can pass it on the click view functions and fetch the values you want to fetch the last value first value or maybe some of uh, so, some of these values whatever there which is going on in your mind you can basically configure uh, with the help of the right uh, keywords or the right functions within the click view and pass it on to the parameter and then this will basically store uh, this will basically get calculated here with the help of the call uh, call keyword which is calling the subroutine apart from this another very uh, interesting thing that uh, we have done usually is uh, creating the qvd so instead of uh, specifying the store command again and again or multiple times uh, what we can do is we can simply write the command the store command over here and then keep calling the uh, we can specify the value of the um, table name in a variable change the variable value after each load statement and call the subroutine that will basically help us creating the qvds multiple times so that's another use case of uh, uh, of subroutine apart from that there are n number of use cases because business scenarios requires us to do the same sort of multiple calculations again and again and in any programming language you will find that functions or subroutines are the most efficient way to do that types of calculation so i would encourage you to look for such opportunities in your scripting and make your scripting efficient and if you have any example to share with others uh, that uh, what kind of subroutines that you have used i will highly encourage that you post that example to in comments with the help of uh, uh, not with the real life, not with your real data or real va column values, but maybe some dummy values. But at least that will and that will help others to understand how different, how other peoples or how you are using the subroutine in your in your programming in your ClickV programming. So that's all for today's video, and I will meet you in the new video, the new topic.